We then sharpen the angle of the edge and remove all the unnecessary remnants. We use the piece of sandpaper to smooth out the material surface and to remove the paint and the invisible plastic coating. We then punched two holes for the metallic cover pipes with a special machine. Perfect! They also fit just fine. Now we can move to installing and soldering the pipes to the metallic frame. But first, we have to cut another piece of metal. We have to sandpaper it because the paint and the plastic coating blocks the soldering. This piece will be used to close up the top part of the engine. Good. Now we can solder it together. This will be our final product. This is a picture of the final engine that is on our boat. Now the second step. Here I am making the burner. You can see I am bending a piece of can. I give it the shape of a kind of metallic box. I did two holes in the upper side and I soldered the corners because it must be waterproof. Now it only remains to put a piece of cotton tissue as a wick in one of the two pipes. Step number 3. Conceiving the boat. After creating the pop-up engine and the burner, we had to conceive the boat. We cut up a bigger beer can. We also sandpaper it to remove the paint. We had to be careful though. Sandpapering it too much could soften and break the metal. We then drew the boat pattern and carefully cut it. After cutting it, we bended the frame into the shape of the boat. Then we solder the joints together. Soldering is a very slow process. We had to be very careful because you can actually get hurt and the smoke is really noxious. The good part is, it actually begins to look like a boat. After finishing the frame, we installed the pop-up engine by punching two holes into the boat. Everything is ready. Daniel is carefully filling the burner with 90 degrees alcohol. Then we just need to put it under the pop-up. It's done. Now we might go and test it. We lit the burner on fire and the water raises in temperature. The boat advances. It works. We can find different kinds of pop-ups. This one is pretty simple to make. It's only coiled copper pipe. But these ones aren't homemade. You can find them only on the market. Finally, there are models for racing which may have many pipes to increase the performances.